Hmm, this lock is peculiar to say the least. I'm pretty sure that I'd need a special key if I wanted to open it. Let's try. It works! I heard a click. Empty! It seems so strange. There's something that doesn't add up in this crate. Let's see. Just as I thought, there's a false back. I just need something to pry it open. It should work. Bingo! The nail file got stuck, but it doesn't matter. There's something a lot more precious inside. It's another piece of the map, and I think it's the teach one. everything I need. My recipe is practically done. It will be a drink that is sure to make waves in the world. Non-alcoholic, dark-colored, sparkly. It can even cure a headache. I wouldn't want to ruin your dream, but I think that already exists. Actually, I believe you're even in danger of clashing with some mega corporations. I know the market very well. I managed to isolate and replace the secret ingredient with another. Really? Which one? No, well, it's the root extract of a... Oh, hey. Ah, nice try, boy. You almost had me going there. It's the only ingredient that is not present on the list. Take it. I don't need it anymore. Thank you. Better read it away from prying eyes. Wait a minute. This list is a bit strange. I can glimpse something under the text about the ingredients. It's a receipt. It says, I, Dr. Alfred Every, on July 15, 2008, deliver to Steve Bonnet the artifacts found in the basement. In exchange, Mr. Bonnet transfers to the Every family, free of charge, the property of the building where the family business is actually located. The agreements will not be disclosed. Yours faithfully, Dr. Every. It's countersigned by Steve Bonnet, too. To which artifacts is Dr. Every referring? If the agreements have not been disclosed, the only one that would know anything about it is Uncle Steve. I'd better get over to his office to investigate. 